I think it's time to get a little bit more personal with y'all. What is up, Define Squad? A welcome, a welcome, a welcome, and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Alex and Defined by Alex, where we are defining our lives and building our dreams in that or dirt. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe out there. Um, so today's video is very relaxed, very informal, very real. And so I actually posted a poll and I have my phone right here. I think by the time you guys see this video, I posted this poll like two weeks prior. Okay. So just to give you guys a timeline, but I posted this poll on my YouTube community tab. So basically I said I wanted to address some things that's been on my mind. Would you guys want me to talk about what it's like being in a saturated market plus growing as an influencer and um the people wanted to know okay so i am here to deliver so let me go ahead and just pretty much just jump right on in um for those of you who are new here hey welcome hope you stick around my name is alex i am a youtuber and at the same time a t-shirt entrepreneur so as far as like my niche what i do what i talk about things like that those are the buckets that I'm in as far as this content creation space this online business space and so I knew firsthand what I was gonna get myself into you know was I prepared I mean I can say I was but you know sometimes just stuff hits you out of nowhere and you just got to go with the flow but starting in a huge space like YouTube was number one, a barrier to climb because I had to really get myself to stay consistent to where I can get monetized. So if you don't know, I am monetized. So shout out to you guys for watching me and helping me get there. So I got monetized back in March of this year. Um, and so that's been really great. This platform has grown, as T.I. says, exponentially. Like it has just grown so well to where it really puts me in the limelight of really making an impact, which I really super duper enjoy. You know, can't help that. This t-shirt business, of mine um, as I'm in this niche of t-shirt preneurs I will say that it gets really really hard one thing that I'm gonna admit to you guys right now is that it has been a struggle growing in two what's considered saturated markets I am not here to tell you that every day I get sales I don't. I cannot wait to tell y'all that. Trust me, working on that as we speak with my marketing strategies and my systems, and that's another video. But again, this one is here to just address a lot of things that I feel people need to know and how to really combat that and how to move forward as you're getting started, especially if you're someone like me who is a growing influencer and a growing business owner, okay? So there are some things that I really had on my chest that I felt I wanted to address as far as the t-shirt industry and what it's like being in such a saturated market. I'm gonna keep using quotes because that's subjective and you know, depending on how you see things, it may be saturated and it may not be. There's still opportunity because I always say that and I do truly believe that as well. However, it gets a little bit discouraging because you may think you have a really bomb.com design. I mean, if you ask me, I think a lot of my designs are compelling and I do think that they stand out, which does make me different. But I cannot lie and say that I see basic looking designs that sell and I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? What is? What am I missing? What am I missing? And please y'all, don't take this as me bashing any business because that is not what I'm about, but I'm just speaking from my heart. I truly think that there are some designs that aren't that well in designing or maybe my level of creativity is at a 50 and these designs are at like a 30 you know what i'm saying so that could be me maybe i'm playing too much into it but nonetheless in a t-shirt world you know you have to think about that and learn how to push through to that yes that design could be simple to you but it's selling so the fact of the matter is, and this is me talking to myself, I have to just be like, well, I can't even be mad at this design being so basic looking because according to your metrics that you showing with us, this selling to people. 
So sometimes I feel like, am I working too hard on my designs because I'm not getting the sales that I desire? And I know it takes time, it, it takes progress. And also my business is a year. Like I'm a t-shirt preneur baby, if you think about it. I'm a business baby. So that's another point you know, I wanna lead into is that when you are in a saturated market or overly populated market, whatever you wanna call it, you have to look at yourself as, where are you? versus where are your competitors? And one thing that I really wanna talk about is that we cannot compare our first year to someone's five year. You know, um, I didn't make that quote up. That has, that's something that's gonna be thrown out you know, from a lot of people when it comes to business and growth and development. But me being me, when I tell you I have to just stay focused on nurturing my first year, my come up versus someone's fourth year versus someone's third year, you know, growth is not the same. So, you know, those are things that I feel like were really just weighing on me as far as like this industry is profitable, but you have to work your butt off to really get yourself out there. And being a growing influencer, YouTuber, wanting to step into this influencer space, you know, sometimes I feel like there are some days where I don't wanna film YouTube content, but I wanna like get my Instagram content popping. I wanna really work on having really like brand deals and sponsorships, so it's like, I'm telling you guys how hard it is sometimes for me to not talk about business because I don't want to feel like you guys are not getting what y'all came here to get. But also, this is an opportunity for me to tell you guys that you will be seeing different things on my channel throughout the course of my channel's, you know, lifespan. And I hope that, you know, you're open to me adjusting because I have to be open to me adjusting. I want to experience being an influencer simultaneously as I want to experience being a t-shirt preneur and not gonna lie I was nervous making this video because I again I'm a creator so it's like I don't want to disappoint my viewers and I don't want to you know lose sight of what I started my channel for so that challenge has been something I just have to sit up here and accept of like well no don't think like that Think of it as you start somewhere, but your end, you know, your ending is different. You start talking about t-shirt businesses, how to start your at-home t-shirt business, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't open other opportunities for you to talk about becoming an influencer, becoming a lifestyle influencer, um, becoming an influencer that talks about business and productivity. Like those things are congruent with what you do. So it took me a while to accept that I'm not letting you down. I'm not letting you guys down, but I do want to explore this opportunity as well so yeah this video like i said is a little bit more personal it's a little bit more what i really feel what i want to talk about and i think that it was needed you know it was needed to say youtube is such a great opportunity it's just i'm still processing a lot of what's going on and despite that i'm not hitting my business goals I had to really take a step back and realize what am I not doing in my business that I'm doing at YouTube, right? So that's another challenge for me. It's like, I feel like I'm a better YouTuber than I am a business owner. And that's hard, y'all. Like that's really, to think that at first, I don't believe that. I just thought that I just entertained that negative thought for just a little bit. But to believe that, I was like, no, nah, that's not true. Because the doors that are opening for my YouTube can also flood over to my business and that welcomes people who are viewing me to see what I'm selling. And of course, you know, if that leads to a purchase, listen, I'm a happy woman, but it's the visibility that my business is getting. So you guys are gonna always see me in my t-shirts or my sweatshirts, you know, you know, and if I don't wear them, that doesn't mean that you know, I'm not, of course, supporting my business. So yeah, y'all, it's been um, it's been hard trying to articulate a lot of this and really what what I really want as far as my journey and my growth. So I just I put this out there to tell you guys that I'm not stopping. I'm still here to build a community of aspiring t-shirtpreneurs t-shirt makers and creators and all the like. However, I have personal goals as well and I am definitely, you know, open to taking you guys on the journey, but 
you know, I hope that as I transition into an influencer and you guys start seeing more of the curated content and you start seeing more of the branded content and the sponsorship content, you know, that doesn't sway you from my channel and the things that you know I can bring. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video again very informal as y'all see i'm just not even at my desk that's how comfortable i wanted this to be as if i'm sitting down you know with y'all in person so that's really what goes on sometimes in my brain and that's what's just been my recent like wait i should say is i didn't want to disappoint you guys knowing that I'm gonna still make videos regarding my t-shirt business, but I do want to pursue and tap into this influencer market because I have the potential to do that as well. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I'm gonna leave y'all with that update and just, you know, I hope that this resonates with you. And just, of course, just let y'all know that I'm not stopping with the business insights and things like that, but you know, I feel like it's selfish of me not to pursue something that I really wanna do and it's not, it's not good for me not to tap into something that interests me, right? So, and I want you guys to feel the same way too. If you start on one thing in your life and you realize that that opens a door for something else that is even more lucrative, please pursue that. Trust me, please pursue that because you just never know what that's gonna lead to. And so that is where I'm at. That has been the rock and the hard place for me personally being a, a really great impact on here online and YouTube and then wanting to be an influencer and do like photo shoots and things like that. Like I really do wanna do things like that. Um, so yeah, y'all, that is about it. I'm gonna wrap up this video, but thank y'all so much for tuning in just to hear what is on my heart, what I really want to do. And again, I pray that this doesn't sway you away from my channel or my content or all the information that I do plan on dropping that still pertain to business tips, t-shirt growth, and things like that. So as always, y'all, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. And I will be back in my next video. Thank y'all so much for watching.